If you have a very complex image data set and you want to do exploratory data analysis and profiling of your image data, then you need to check Data Gradients. Data Gradients is an open source tool that assists in finding hidden insights within image data, which ensures a smoother data analysis journey. So you might be thinking that there are already many conventional pro profiling tools already available. Then why we need Data Gradients? Because conventional profiling tools work well for structured layer trails of tabular data, but struggle when it comes to navigating the complex trails of image data, from color schemes to object shapes, from labels to bonding box formats. Image data require more advanced tools for exploration, and here comes data gradients. Here is what data gradients brings to the table. Automatic feature extraction, dedicated data exploration tools, and comprehensive dataset quality assess assessment. So let's move towards the code part. Before running the script, please make sure that you have selected the runtime as GPU. Okay, so that's fine. I have selected the hardware accelerator as GPU. Now here's the complete introduction. I have already explained this, so you can just read it. And here you can join the uh, Deep Learning Daily Discord server over here as well. You can open an issue on GitHub. And if you can like that this uh, data gradients open source tool, you can give a star on the repository in the GitHub repository as well. In this tutorial, we will be focusing on data gradients for object detection. But in the next tutorial, we will explore data gradient for segmentation data sets as well. So let's explore data gradients for object detection. So here uh, is the first you need to install all these packages. Over here, you need to install data gradients package. You also need to install RoboFlow package. Why we need RoboFlow package? Because we will be downloading data set from RoboFlow into our Google Colab notebook. The third package we require is PI PDF to image so that we can display PDF as images into our Google Colab notebook. And then last package is pip install pigments, which is used to for pretty printing JSON in our Google Colab notebook. So let's install these packages. So after installing these packages, we will just restart our run runtime. Please make sure don't disconnect or delete your runtime. We just need to restart our runtime after installing these packages. So the package installation will take some minutes. So let's wait and until it gets installed. Now you can see that packages are installed. So now we will just go to runtime and restart the runtime. So we have restarted the runtime. So now we will just import all the required libraries and we will also uh, define the display PDF images function. You can just go to the details over here. Okay. And let's run this as well. Okay, so over here, I will be just exporting a data set or from RoboFlow into the Google Colab notebook, or you can say that we will be downloading a data set in our Google Colab notebook. In this tutorial, I will be using this Uno Cards data set. So you can just click on download data set from here, and you can just click on continue from here. And so I think it will take a few more seconds. So let's see. So just copy this code from here and just copy this code from here. Let's go back to our Colab, Colab notebook and just paste this code over here. So I will just control V over here. You can just uh, export this data set in Yolo V5 or Yolo V8 format as well. But Yolo V8 is the latest uh, among the latest models. So we will just use Yolo V8 over here. And let's download this data set in our Google Colab notebook. So you can see that a data set has started downloading. So the data set will be downloaded. It might take a few seconds, but let's see. Okay, so now you can see that it started. The data set, uh, data set consists of around 8,000 images. So this will take some time for the data set to get downloaded because we have a huge image data set. So this is the purpose of showing you how you can do exploratory data analysis on your complex data set, okay? And how you can do profiling using data gradients package on complex data set. Although there are already conventional tools available for profiling, but data gradients that help you computer vision practitioners to do 
exploratory data analysis and profiling on complex Im uh, image data set so that you can find out hidden sides of your image data. So the data set is 51% downloaded. So this will take a few more seconds before it is completely downloaded. So our data set is completely downloaded. Here you can see we have train, test, and validation folders. And here we have the data.yml file. So I will just click over here, copy path, and just add this path over here. Okay, and so here we have added our data.yml file path, okay. So now I'm just instantiating the data, uh, data loaders over here. So here I will just copy the main directory path over here. The same thing we do for Yolo NAS as well. And here I've just passed the train images directory, train labels directory. So if I just click on train, here we have the train images labels directory. And in the test, we have the images labels directory as well. And in the validation, we also have the images labels directory as well. And here we have the data.yml file. So you can see here we have uh, multiple different classes over here as well. So I will just add the class names over here as well. You can see over here, I have added the class names, which you can see over here. The data and class name sequence is the same, which you can see over here as well. So we have added the class name by following the same sequence, which is provided over here as well. So you can see over here, the sequence matches over here and over here as well. So 0, 1, 10, 11, 12. So 0, 1, 10, 11, 12. And in the last, we have nine. And here we have also nine. So just run this cell now. Okay, and just close this out. And just update these parts. So the root directory path is this. Okay, so that's worked well. So now in the next step, we will do exploratory data analysis on this image data set. So let's start it out. So here you will also add, you will also require to add the names over here as well. So yeah. So here you can see that I have already added all these class names over here, which you can see these class names. I have already provided these class names over here as well. So I have just copied this from here and added this class name as over here as well. So as we have a cards data set, so we have the class name like zero, one, two, three, because we have a data set of cards. Okay, so now we will just run this cell. Okay, so now I'm just running this cell. So here I will just pass the selection as zero in the first step. And here I will just pass the selection as one. Okay, and so it's starting analyzing over here. So this uh, will take some time until it gets ready completely. So it's analyzing, it's 5%. So this will take a few seconds until it goes to 100% and we will have then the report over here. I have already created this report previously, but now I'm just creating in front of you. So you can just see the report, how does it is created? And then we will uh, display the report over here as well. So you can see that in the start, we have imported the library display PDF pages so that we can display the report in our Google Colab notebook over here as well. So this will take a few seconds to get completed. So summarizing has been done 100%. So that's great. So our PDF report is over here, logs, test gradient, data gradients. And here you can see the reports.pdf and we have the summary in the JSON format over here as well. So just copy path from here. Click over here, copy path, and let's add the path over here. And let's display the report over here in our Google Colab notebook. You can also download this report by just clicking over here and click on download. So here you can see we have the complete report over here. So from here, uh, okay, so. We can see that our as we have a huge number of uh, images in our data set, I told you that it, there are around 8,000 images in our data set. So 6,295 images belongs to a training data. And uh, okay, so 1,798 images belong to the validation data. We have 15 classes in our data set and all the classes are used. And after annotations, we have 1,000. After doing the annotations, we have total 18,885 annotations on the training data set and 5,394 annotations on the 
uh, validation data set and annotations per image are three and here the ratio is same and here we have that median image ratio small annotation and large annotations uh, over here are described as well and here we have the image width and height distribution over here you can see and if we just go over here here you can see the color distribution red green and blue color distribution and here we can see the image brightness distribution on the training and validation data set okay and if we just further go and here we have the object detection features visualization of some samples so you can see that uh, we have bounding boxes around each of the number over here on the card so that's look good and here we have the bounding box density which shows us where we have the bounding box uh, usually in the image for each of the class and here we have the distribution of bounding box area you can see and here we have the distribution of bonding box per image. You can see over here as well. And here we have a distribution of bonding box width and height over here. And we have the class frequency distribution over here as well. So this is a detailed report. And here you can see we have the intersection of bonding boxes. So this is a quite a detailed report. You can just download this report on your local system over here as well. And you can assess the report in the JSON format over here as well. So here you can see the report in the JSON format. You can just display this report in the JSON format over here as well. And you can do individual analysis over here, which is our details are provided over here as well. So you can also do individual analysis over here as well. So that's what to it. So here you can see that we are just downloading the report and the report is downloaded. You can see over here. The report is being downloaded and you can also display the report in the JSON format over here as well. And you can also do individual analysis over here. So you can just run this cell over here and you can just pass the class name over here to do individual analysis over here. So just copy the class names for me here and let's do some individual analysis over here as well. So just adding the class names over here and let's do some individual analysis and let's see what results do we get? So just write zero over here and just write one over here. Okay, so now we are doing individual analysis and uh, this will take some time and then we will display the report over here as well and then it will end. Okay, so this will take few seconds, 20% done and hopefully it will be 100% uh, in a while. So that's look good. So this 37, 39, 42, 44, 46, 50, and okay. So after this, we will have the report over here. So in this detection bonding box, okay. So we will have the report over here. So let's, so it's done. It's 100% now. And let me display the report over here. So you can see here the complete report. We have the selected features, display per bonding boxes, and all the details. You can check the report in detail over here as well. And you can just display the uh, results in the JSON format over here as well. So uh, let's display the result in the JSON format and let's see what results. Uh, here are the results in the JSON format. You can see the training images count, validation images count over here, the mean uh, image ratio, standard deviation, and 25% count, all the details over here you can see. And you can see the report title and its reports was generated in this time and the timestamp you can see over here. So that's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have learned something. Do try, uh, do try data gradients on your site as well and explore more about it. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.